Welcome to episode one. Today, we're going to start with the basics, starting with what is translational research? Some of you might not be familiar with this concept. Now, our official definition for translational research is the process of turning observations in the laboratory, clinic, and community into interventions that improve the health of individuals and the public. In other words, we try to understand how concepts can be transformed into tangible innovations that will benefit human health. I know, this is still kind of abstract. How about we get some help? Hi, my name is Megan Loft. I am a master's student in the Translational Research Program at the University of Toronto. So if you're wondering what exactly translational research is, let me help you think about it by putting it into an example. Let's say that you're a chef and in your kitchen, you've discovered the best, most delicious and perfect chocolate chip cookie recipe. You wanna spread this discovery across so that everybody can enjoy what you've made. There's a lot of barriers that you have to cross to take that one cookie in your kitchen and have it be mass produced and available to benefit all the chocolate chip cookie eaters in the world. What we study in the Translational Research Program is different types of barriers that you have to get through to take your creation from your lab and bring it out into society. Thanks, Megan. So what are the barriers that she's talking about? Imagine the chef was actually a scientist and the cookies were a new discovery or innovation. One of the barriers that you'll encounter is testing and regulations. You'll have to find out if people actually like your cookie, or if your cookie makes people sick. This is similar to how scientists conduct clinical trials, testing for harm and effectiveness. You also have to meet certain standards to pass FDA and Health Canada approval. But maybe something you haven't considered is that clinical trials and testing is incredibly expensive. So your next step is to figure out how to fund this cookie project. There are many different ways to get funding. You could find a rich cookie fanatic who is willing to invest millions into your product. You could apply for cookie grants. Or maybe you could find an industry partner, like a large cookie company. Once you get funding and finalize your cookie product, it's time to figure out how to get them into the market. First of all, who's your target population? If you want your cookies to reach patients, you may consider putting them in hospitals. However, you will need to convince different healthcare professionals to start using your cookies. And to do this, you'll have to come up with implementation strategies that will consider questions like, should your cookies be covered by OHIP? What is the current standard of care? And how will you change human behavior? And that's just the tip of the iceberg. You'll face many other types of challenges when trying to make a change within the Ontario healthcare system. Well, obviously, this cookie metaphor is crumbling apart. That being said, your cookie, I mean, discovery, can be anything from a drug, device, policy, or even a change of practice. And in real life, each of the barriers are much more complicated and ambiguous. This is why translational research is important. Translational research is about overcoming these barriers and making sure that your innovation creates impactful benefit for human health. I hope you guys have learned a little something about translational research today. If you're intrigued, be sure to check out our program's website. The link will be posted right here. And on that website, you can find out a lot more about what we do at UPG.